Good, Good morning, everyone. Today we are making an excursion to one of the world wonders of the world. There's always this discussion if there's seven or eight world wonders or what counts to a world wonder or what not. And I look a little bit trashed and super tired because over there behind me that bar last night made super loud music, I think, until two o'clock or something in the morning. Turning left, turning right, couldn't sleep. Earplugs, couldn't sleep. Complain to the night guard, couldn't sleep. Anyway, let's make the best out of it. And our tour guide is going to pick us up here in about five to 10 minutes. And then we're heading off to Chichen Itza. Yeah. First stop on our way to Chichen Itza is a dip in a cenote. The cenote Shkayum is where we are now. Must be around 10 kilometers from Chichen Itza, I think, or something like that. And uh, we've already changed into our swimming trunks. We have to take shower there before we go to the cenote. And cenotes are actually uh, underground rivers. It is like a capillary system that's underground here in the Yucatan, where the Chicxulub meteorite is believed to have hit the ground, the earth. That's also the thing, the meteorite that was believed that killed the dinosaurs back in the time. So that formed this underground capillary system in Yucatan and regularly, regularly or every now and then the roof of an underground river collapses and it creates these cenotes which are cenotes which are like holes in the ground where there where there's water in so we're going to swim in one of those now Here goes the man into the cenote pool. Is it cold? warm comes from the sun really yes this cenote is 45 meters deep it has fish inside and the water is sweet so this was really important for the maya because this was the fresh water reservoir that they had for their daily use gift shop of course but yeah, it's they have kind three of gift shops it's pretty and you can buy t-shirts and, and they have a pool look nice garden with a swimming pool pretty place bon appetit so here's one of the restaurants where you can buy Mexican curious and they sell all kinds of things made in somewhere who knows our guide said that most of the things here that they sell are made in Taiwan. And here you can give you can give tip to the dancers that haven't danced yet. And here you get into the nicely air-conditioned restaurant with big tables. I wonder what number we have. We've arrived to Chichen Itza parking place. 
this is how it looks like and uh, mind you we are low season at the moment so this is a logistical challenge so also here as in many other places when you're a foreigner you pay 242 when you're local you pay 162 here we have to line up to get in how was it 25 years ago i don't remember really so just to tell everyone i was here like 25 years ago i'm that old and it was very different because it was it was like an open open area where you could just walk in and uh, you could even climb on the pyramids which is not possible today anymore so uh, this looks more like a disneyland <laughs> here we are in this place called the chichen Itza. And Chichen Itza means in the Maya language, the mouth, the well, and the Itzas, you know? In the Maya language, Chi means a mouth, Chen means a well, and Itza is the name, the tribe, if in this area, the tribe, the Itzas. The Maya people came here in this period, one period between 600 to 900, built the temples and living here in the peace. In the next period, between 9 to 11, the Toltec people are right here and go together with the Mayas, beginning in mixed period, Maya and Toltec. When the Toltec people are right here, the Maya people have here in the front one pyramid with small size, you know? When they begin in the mixed period, Maya and Toltec together, covered by stone, the first pyramid, and building the other one in the top. Is this mm -hmm. one we can see now. Have the one pyramid in the top the other one. The pure Maya and the mixed period, Maya and Toltec. Well, <clears throat> This pyramid have your four sides go directly to the four canal points. North in the left side, south in the right, east in the other side we don't see, and west the side we can see now, you know? The pyramid have a 91 step for side. When you multiplicate 91 for four sides, then the number 364. When you annex the, the platform in the top, give me number 365, same days in the year. When you see very well the pyramid have the nine platforms in the left side, and nine platforms in the right. When you put it together, nine and nine, give the number 18. Represent the 80 months, the 20 days in the Maya calendar. The Maya calendar had the one short month, the five days. When you multiply 18 for 20, give the number 360. And you are next the short month, the five days, and you have again 365. So the center point here in Chichen Itza is the El Castillo, the castle, which has as you heard, one pyramid inside and one pyramid built outside. And apparently in 2015 they found out that this pyramid is built atop of a cenote. There is a cenote underneath and there is fears that one day it might collapse and fall into the cenote. One complete more core we have in the Mayan area. We have the other the small size in the other Maya cities is considered the practice ball court for the practice games. This is more big. How the 160 meters, the building you see in the back and the building you see in the front. 160 meters and 60 meters the wall in the left and the wall in the right, you know? Here made the game with the seven players the one side and seven players the other side. Use the rubber ball this size, give the ball rubber ball for the needs, you know, this way or this way, or for hips, this way, or this way, or for arms, this way, or this way. Don't use the hands, you use the feet, and don't use the head. The captain and the one team have the chance to climb platform, stay more close to the ring, you know? The other captain climb the other one, stay more close to the ring. When the ball passes to the ring, finish the game, and begin in the religious ceremony. One captain decapitate to the other one. When he cut the head, the blood go to the soil for the fertilizer, and give it like flowers and fruits. The Temple of the Jaguars. Call the Temple of the Jaguars for the, the top of the three doors, one, two, three doors in the top. We can see the one line, the Jaguars, circles, Jaguars, circles, Jaguars, circles, Jaguars, circles, tour around all the building. This building have the three doors, you know, in the middle have the two pillars. These two pillars represent two stakes. We can see the floor, the head stake, open the mouth, 
the body is the pillar and the tail with rattles in the top. This platform, I've been named it Sompantli. Sompantli means in Nahuatl language, one wall full with skulls. The first idea of how the archaeologists when see this platform, and the idea looks like a cemetery. Made the excavation, they discover complete skeletons, no separate bones, nothing, and change the idea, the other group of people have the idea, maybe. In this platform, uh, represent the heads when they cut in the ball core, represent in the wall, you know? We can see the front, this platform, how they name the platform eagles and jaguars, or the ornamentation we can see in the quadrangles. In one quadrangle, we can see the, the eagle, and the other one, we can see the jaguar. It's the platform of eagles and jaguars. This building in the front had the two names. Had the name the Temple of the Warriors and the Temple of the Thousand Columns. Had the name the Temple of the Thousand Columns for the many columns you can see in the front. This one continued in the right side of 150 meters. To the left, 150. To the left, 150. To the left, 150. And for the big quadrangle in the right side. When you climb the steps, 36 steps, we can see the middle, the human figure reclimb in this position, called the Chakmol. The Chakmol, is the, the God received the, the offerings before to go to the altar. Having one plate in the stomach, the people put the offerings there, the high priest came inside to outside, take the offering and put it in the back in the altar. This is the famous sacred well, the home of the rain god. This well has a 46 meter diameter here to there, 46 meters. The wall has the erosion for the different levels of the water, in this time has the sea level. In two times, put the big dragger, you know, the big dragger, the big machine, take the mud, put outside, open the mud, and discover inside the mud stone knives, point for the arrows, the many pieces of ceramic, broken, and the other one in good conditions, colors, bracelet with jade, obsidian, and gold sandals, mass of the gold, gold frogs, small metates for the cornmeal, and in the last time, discover human skeletons, the girls, boys, and men. This is the platform where they put the copal in this door, put the copal, burn in the copal, the smoke go outside in the hole in the top, the victim is standing up there, the smoke did the perfume and the purification when you finish the ceremony, yes, push in the water and finish the life over there. Cocodrilita. This is supposed when the rain got to receive this sacrifice, give the very good rain season for everybody. We are done with our visit to Chichen Itza. It was a very impressive visit. Still a lot of people because this is one of the seven world wonders in the world, of course. And we arrived here with our bus at around one o'clock. That's the most worst time actually you can you can be here. So our recommendation would be that you come very early in the morning. This place opens at eight o'clock and the first tourist buses arrive at eleven. So when you arrive at eight you have still enough time to enjoy this wonderful place all for your for yourself. Our tour costs 525 per person and that included a very rushed tour for, uh, which was around one half hour through the sites. We could hardly not ask any question and I must say that the travel book we had with us gave all the information as well. So you rather maybe invest into a transportation, private transportation or into a rental car to explore this place on your own. Thank you very much for, see, uh, for watching this another episode of our vlog. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like it, just share this video on your social media. See you soon. Safe travels wherever you are.